welcome to my new video now we we'll learn about sum and products of rules of the quadratic equation in the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 if you have this quadratic equation then with sum and product of the roots we can find many interesting things like we can say that our roots are alpha and beta so sum of roots means alpha plus beta we can directly find out from minus b by a b is this a is this so minus b by a and product of root is c by a c by a this is the formula for sum of root and for product of root no need to find the root separately you can directly find what is alpha plus beta is b by minus b by a what is alpha beta is c by a let's see is this true or not if i have a quadratic equation x square minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Another is x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. When we factorize, our factors are x minus 3, x minus 1. Means root, one, my 1 root alpha is 3, beta is 1. Here it's whole square, x plus 1 whole square. So alpha also minus 1, beta also minus 1. Now we will check this formula. Alpha plus beta with this 3 plus 1 is 4. Now we substitute, use our formula is minus b by a. So b is minus 4. So minus b is minus minus 4 become plus 4 by a is 1. So 4 by 1 is 4. Yes, it's true. Next, a alpha beta. Alpha beta is here 3 times 1 is 3. Here also c by a. c is 3, a is 1. So 3 by 1 is 3. That's clear. So it's it means it is true. In another case also alpha and beta is minus 1 minus 1. You can put and find the value. So it, sometimes we don't need the individual alpha beta value. But we need sum and product of roots. You can find directly by using this formula. I will show you one example. How we can use this sum and product of these roots. To find the, some interesting result. And after that, if we have this, we can find the, our quadratic equation also. The question given that x, x bracket x plus 3 equal to 2 and roots for this quadratic equation is alpha beta, find these terms. So, first you need to write this in ax square plus bx plus c form. Then only we can find what is our a, what is b and what is c. I open this bracket x square plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So, when we compare with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, our a is 1, b is 3 and c is minus of 2. Clear? So, what is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is minus b by a. So, it becomes minus 3 by 1 is minus 3. Alpha beta is c by a. So, it become minus 2 by 1 is minus 2. Now, we have these two results. Alpha plus beta is minus 3. Alpha beta is minus 2. We need to find alpha square plus beta square. So, how to find, you know, alpha plus beta whole square if we write. Alpha plus beta whole square is alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta. Clear? We have alpha plus beta is minus 3. We have alpha beta is minus 2. So, we can find this value. Alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta gives alpha square plus beta square. You can substitute value here. Minus 3 whole square minus 2 of minus 2. This gives 9 minus minus become plus 4. So, this gives 13. So, alpha square plus beta square for this equation is 13. Clear? Now, our second ask to find alpha minus beta. So, for alpha minus beta, same, you can find alpha minus beta whole square. What is alpha minus beta whole square? Alpha square plus beta square 
minus 2 alpha beta. Now you have alpha square plus beta square is 13. You can substitute here. 13 minus 2 times minus 2. Alpha beta is 2. So it becomes 13 minus minus plus 4. So this is 17. So alpha minus beta whole square is 17. So what is alpha minus beta? You should take the root. Square root plus minus of 17 is the value of alpha beta. Next third task you need to find alpha 4 beta 4. So for alpha 4 beta 4 you need to again if we can say this is alpha square beta square of whole square. So what is our equation is alpha square square is alpha 4 beta 4 2 times alpha square beta square. Clear? So now for this we have alpha square beta square value put here I will change here alpha 4 beta 4 we need to substitute value here alpha square beta square is 13 so 13 is square minus 2 alpha square beta square means alpha beta whole square so alpha beta is minus 2 square is 4 clear this become 13, 13, 169 minus 8. So it gives 161 one equal to alpha 4 plus beta 4. So you should know or you should remember how to find these value with the help of whatever you have. You have alpha beta and alpha plus beta. So with those value you can substitute and find another values what are given in the problem. The problem is if I have equation x square minus x equal to k times x plus 1 where k is constant has non-zero roots which is differ by 1. Find the value of each root and constant k. So how to find? Means if one root is alpha another is alpha plus 1 because differ by 1. So what is our alpha plus beta is alpha by alpha plus alpha plus 1. Another is alpha beta is alpha alpha plus 1. So for first task for convert into this form. So this become x square minus x minus kx minus of k equal to 0. So from here I rewrite again x square minus k Sorry, we need to take out x. Minus x is outside. k plus 1 minus k equal to 0. So, a is 1. b is minus k plus 1. And c is minus of k. Now, I have all the values. Substitute here minus b by a. So, minus minus become plus k by 1. c by a. c is minus k by 1. Clear? Now how to find these values? See, when we solve this, this becomes 2 alpha plus 1 equal to k plus 1. It means 2 alpha equal to k. Another, when we solve this equation, alpha square plus alpha plus k equal to 0. It means this is quadratic equation in alpha and k. K is constant. So from here we can find the value of K is 2 alpha. So we can substitute here alpha square plus alpha plus 2 alpha equal to 0. So it becomes alpha square plus 3 alpha equal to 0. So alpha take out alpha plus 3 equal to 0. So one root alpha is 0. Another is alpha equal to minus 3. Clear? So, 0 should be reset because they say it has non-zero roots. So, 0 is not our root. So, we can say 1 root is, we reject this and 1 root is minus 3. So, differ by another root is alpha plus 1. So, another root is minus 3 and second root is minus of 2. Now, we find first task each root. One root is minus 3, another root is minus 2. Next is find the constant k. So k is 2 alpha. 
So what is alpha? Alpha is minus 3. So k equal to 2 times minus 3. It means k is minus of 6. So this is the solution for given problem. You need to proceed step by step. Step 1, convert the given equation in the form ax square plus bx plus c. Find the value of a, b and c by comparing. Then substitute in our equation alpha plus beta is minus b by a, alpha beta is c by a. Then you will get one linear, another quadratic. You can from linear substitute one variable, solve it and find the roots, you will get both the roots, then you will get the constant also. Now, move further, we can, another, I will give you one more equation, finding the quadratic equation from the roots. So, what is the formula? Is x square sum of roots times x plus minus is here plus product of root equal to 0. So, this is the if you have sum of roots value and product of root, you can directly form a quadratic equation. Now, one another example. The roots of equation 3x square minus 2x equal to 4 are alpha, beta. Find the quadratic equation whose roots are this. So, first step convert into ax square minus bx plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, this is your a, b and c. Clear? Now, write alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is minus b is minus minus plus 2 by 3. Alpha beta is c is minus 4 by 3. So, we have alpha plus beta, alpha minus beta. Now, they given that new quadratic equation which we need to find. The roots are this. So, what is sum of roots? 3 alpha plus 1 plus 3 beta plus 1. So, we simplify 3 alpha plus beta plus 2. Clear alpha plus beta is 2 by 3. We substitute here 3 times 2 by 3 plus 2. So, it cancel out. It become 2 plus 2 is 4. So, we can say sum of root is 4. 4. Next, product 3 alpha plus 1, 3 beta plus 1. You need to multiply. So, 3 times 3, this with this, this with this. Same we in fractional, algebraic fraction, we learn how to multiply. So, 3 times 3 is 9 alpha beta plus 3 alpha beta, alpha plus 3 beta plus 1. So, from here 9. Alpha beta is minus 4 by 3. Substitute here. Plus 3 take out. It is alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is 2 by 3. So, and plus 1. Simplify 3. 3 is a 9. 3 cancel with 3. So, 3 times 4 is minus 12 plus 2 plus 1. Clear? So, minus 12 plus 3. It gives minus of 9. So, multiplication is minus 9. So, product of root, we can say here product of root is minus 9 and sum of root for new equation is 4. So, what is our new equation? I can write here x square formula is x square minus sum of root. Sum of root is 4x plus product of root is minus 9 equal to 0. So, our equation is x square minus 4x minus 9 equal to 0. So, this is the required equation what they are asking. x square minus 4x minus 9 equal to 0 is the new quadratic equation whose roots are 3 alpha plus 1 and 3 beta plus 1. This is you need to remember this formula means what is new quadratic equation is x square sum of root times x plus product of roots equal to 0. That's I think that's all for today. More further we will discuss some more problem regarding this topic. Thank you very much.